Jenny B. John's Shoe Book, Chapter 1, Reading Grains. Friday, dear first grade journal. Today is the, the end of the week. Mr. Scary is taking attention. Attention is the school word for who isn't here today. There are lots of children out sick in room one. I'm going to count them, I think. I will be back in a minute. Okay, here is a teeny, teeny cloud bump. I just ran in. Because how can I couldn't the people who aren't here on act lily if they didn't show up, apparently. Taking attention is hardly than it look. From Junie B, first grader. I put down my pencil to think about this sun, sun, Citizens. Only I didn't even have time to contest them. <laughs> Hardly, because all of a sudden there was a nose on the other side of the room. I turned my hand to look and splat oh, a boy named Rocco Roger threw up on the floor. It was the dangerous thing I ever saw. Also, the air did not smell differently. I quick held my nose and closed my eyes, only too bad for me, because my dumb bunny have eyes have a brand of their own, and they keep on sneaky peek on the splat out. It was challenged, I believe. Finally, I put my hand on my desk, and I cover up with my arms. Only just then, more trouble happened, and it's called a boy named Shalom can stay the splat out, and so he jumped off from his chair. And he ran straight out of room one. And that was a surprise, I tell you. Mr. Scary ran after him. He bought Shalom back in the jail Then he quick, quick called the school nurse, Mr. Weller, on the phone. And he told her that we need her help real right now. Hurry, he says, fast. And so Mr. Weller zoomed to room one as fast as as a speedy rocket, and then she hurry over the Rogers, and she talks to to him in clam voice, and she says everything is going to be okay. Roger has his hand, his head really embarrassed. It. I feel sorry for that guy. Also, he was making me ill. Finally, Mr. Weller helped him get up from his chair and she held his hand and she took him to her office. After that room one could not do any work. On extensions of how can you do your work work with splat O on the floor. Only hurry hurry cause because pretty soon, uh, our justly named guest Valence come rushed on the door. I jumped right up when I saw him. Guest Flowney, it's me, it's me, it's Jenny B. Jones, I held around. Roger drew up, Roger drew up. Guest Valone winked at me. Then he, wa he went straight to Roger's desk, and he took out this in the important genre equipment. And he and he sparkling powder all over the spilado. And wow, we wow, wow! That stuff sweep up like a miracle, miracle. We could not believe our eyeballs. Who says my friend? Whoa, says my friend named Lena. Shh, whoa, says my other. Other friend, Ho J, that powder is like magic. I sniffed the air. Yes, it is like magic, Ho J, I said. Plus, now it smells lemony fresh in here. All other children sniff too. Hmm, it doesn't smell lemony fruit, says the fresh, says a girl named Shallon. I wish I had some of that stuff of, for my mother. She loves to clean a mess. Mine, t mine does too, says, says my bestest friend named Herbert. Then all of a sudden, Herbert spring out of his seat. Very exciting. Wait, hold it. My mother's birthday is on Sunday, he says. And so that's what I'll get here. 
get her. I'll get her a top of that magical powder. What's the name of it, Mr. Valentine? Huh? Huh? What is it called? What is it called? This guess Baloney's face was went kind of funny. He glazed his eyes at Mr. Scary and then back and Herbert at Herbert again. Finally, he ran his fingers through. His blonde hair, and he said the name of it. Bonnie's bones appearance. She says, kind of quiet. It's confirmed appearance. At first, Harper just stood at his desk, very frozen. He didn't know say any words. That after a then after a minute, he did a little shiver, and he says back down. Maybe I'll just draw her a picture. She says. Gus Baloney nodded. Then he packed up his snip, and he waved goodbye to room one. And Mister Scary walked him into the hall. While he was gone, Shal Shal Shalon put his lunch snack on his head. As soon as Mister Scary saw it, he tried to take it off, but Shalon held on tight. No, I don't. I. Uh, no, don't! I need this," she said. "If I stay in here, I will catch Roger Scrumps. I wish I raised my eyebrows at the remarkly. Yeah, only I don't get it, Sheldon. I says, how can you catch Roger Scrumps? 'Cause the guest Veloni just sweeped them up in his bucket. Remember, Sheldon talked to me, got his back. Roger." Roger Scrummers aren't just in the bucket, Johnny B. He said. Whenever somebody grows up, their journalism journalism is shot out in the air, all over the place. Then if somebody else breaths breaths that sound air, those screamers can can get stuck. Snick right, right up their nose, nosily. I just little chance and that information. Then I look all around in the air, and very slow, I lift my head and I close my nose, nosily. Room one, watching. Then one by one, they close their nose nervously too, and so all of us held our nose tight with our finger, and we didn't breathe for the whole rest of the morning.